Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. A challenge to God's church. November 11. Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb and spoke like a dragon. Revelation 13:11. To the Apostle John on the Isle of Patmos were opened scenes of deep and thrilling interest in the experience of the Church. Subjects of intense interest and vast importance were presented to him in figures and symbols that the people of God might become intelligent concerning the perils and conflicts before them. Under the symbols of a great red dragon, a leopard-like beast, and a beast with lamb-like horns, the earthly governments which would especially engage in trampling upon God's law and persecuting his people were presented to John. The war is carried on till the close of time. The people of God, symbolized by a holy woman and her children, were represented as greatly in minority. In the last days, only a remnant still existed. Through paganism and then through the papacy, Satan exerted his power for many centuries in an effort to blot from the earth God's faithful witnesses. Pagans and papists were actuated by the same dragon spirit. They differed only in that the papacy, making a presentence of serving God, was the more dangerous and cruel foe. Through the agency of Romanism, Satan took the world captive. The professed Church of God was swept into the ranks of this delusion, and far more than a thousand years the people of God suffered under the dragon's ire. When the papacy, robbed of its strength, was forced to desist from persecution, John beheld a new power coming up to echo the dragon's voice and carry forward the same cruel and blasphemous work. This power, the last that is to wage war against the church and the law of God, was symbolized by a beast with lamb-like horns. The beasts preceding it had risen from the sea, but this came up out of the earth, presenting a peaceful rise of the nation which is symbolized. The two horns like a lamb well represent the character of the United States government as expressed in its two fundamental principles, republicanism and protestantism. These principles are the secret of our power and prosperity as a nation. Those who first found asylum on the shores of America rejoiced that they had reached a country free from the arrogant claims of popery and the tyranny of kingly rule. They determined to establish a government upon the broad foundation of civil and religious liberty.